Cooley coming off a seven inning outing against the Pittsburgh Pirates gave up eight hits and only two earned runs in that game unfortunately his offense was unable to score he dropped a three to nothing ball game giving him back to back losses Line shot base hit to left Hart takes off for a second and he's out Soto nailed him very close play Swing and a miss just like that. Two outs. And end up balls. Ted Lilly throws pitches that start out as balls and end up strikes. High fly to center. Kosuke Fukudome is there. And the Brewers are done in the first. Last time out, he got his first major league win. He's 30 years old. He's bounced around. He made his major league debut at Houston in 2005. For Mike Burns. First pitch swinging for Fukudome. Cameron's on a warning track. It's off the wall. And Braun's going to have to go get it. Kosuke on his way to third. The 3 2 to Terrio. Ground ball to Hardy, who keeps Fukudome at third. One out. High in the air. Cameron watching. And it will go. A two run blast for Lee. Is an all-star take that? <laughs> I told you that drawn in infield enhanced his chances of getting a hit. <laughs> he hit it over the infielders, he hit it over the outfielders, he darn near hit it over the bleachers. Our Heineken home run replay. The red hot Derek Lee jump starting the Cubs offense with a two-run bomb here in the bottom of the first. The Brewers the last couple of days, Supon and Looper, the veterans, called strike three to Bradley. Enjoying their last game at the major league level for a while. The Hall spins around and throws out. Well here. It's driven deep to left. Soriano, however. Any time to get under it. Golf the other way. Bradley coming in and making the catch. You heard Mike Quaddy. Left center field. That's their second hit. Kosuke surrounds it, keeps Cameron to a single. That's the. Yeah, maybe a step or two deeper. There's another ball, similar spot, but the Soriano will cut it off. Popped into short center. Long run for Cameron, and he can't get it. Trying to stay on his feet, and he missed it. That National League team healthy. Knocked down by Hall. A little bobble. They get one, but not two. Drive to left. Braun twisting and turning and getting there. A roller to second as Casey McGee will throw out Ted Little. Getting in that eight spot. Really struggled against righties last year. As he grounds out to Fontenot. Swing and a miss, strike three. Slicing liner and caught by Bradley. A one, two, three, third. Diving catch, I believe. Yep, it's out. It's an out. We don't really see a lot of straight steals. There have been a couple occasions, but for the most part, it's a, it's a hit and run. Minor league deal in mid January. As Lee gets under it in the center. Long wait for Cameron that had a lot of hang time on it. Foul tip, strike three. And yesterday, he was a former player of yours. Kosuke coming in. And crush deep to center. Fukudome's on the warning track, and it's going to be into the juniper bushes right near the batter's eye for his 22nd home run. Lefties don't bother Fielder whatsoever. 
And he was down one and two and smoked that one out of here. Well, you bring up a great point, Lynn. If you look at video of Prince Fielder hitting and pay no attention to who the pitcher is on the mound on the given day, you wouldn't be able to see a difference. Most left handed hitters will give a little bit against a left handed pitcher. 15th allowed this season as McGee tomahawks this deep to left and it's over Soriano. Into the vines, it'll be a long single for McGee. McGee runs again. Called strike three. Ball four on a close pitch. Home in the eighth against Pittsburgh. And he does make it hurt. Into the left field corner. That'll send Bradley all the way to third, where he'll be stopped by Mike Quaddy. And it'll bring up Alfonso Soriano. I think that's a proper call. Not deep. Braun coming in, and Bradley can't tag. Not going to get to that point. As Bradley and Fox both set to tag. This is plenty deep enough. Cameron's throw is going to go to third. And he just missed getting Fox. Media manager for the Peoria Chiefs. Dunked into center base hit four to one as Fox scores. Swing and a miss to end the inning. Another 2-2 two -two swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He strikes out the side. All swinging. Base hit center field. Fielder holds on. Fukudome Hall is in at third. Runner is going and it's floated out into right center. For a base hit. Fukudome to third. A little hit and run action for the Cubs. Lee is one for two with a home run. Ground ball. Base hit. Fukudome's in. It's five to one. And then he broke for second. Unfortunately, a nice play by Kendall. Strike three. Deep to left for Jake Fox. Gone on to Waveland. Seven to one. Against his former Iowa teammate. Soriano, a power hitter who likes to pull the ball to left, but he lofts it into right this time, and Hart going to have to lay out, can't get it. Throw back to first, save. Lined in the left, but he hit it too well. High fly ball, Fukudome tracking on the dirt. One out. Take the breaks wherever you can get them. No Giovanni Gallardo this series, and no Tommy Hansen in the next one. Jay Fox to Derek Lee and J.J. Hardy. Base hit left field to keep the inning alive for Prince Fielder. That is a base hit past Lee and then Fontenot who played about as deep as you can play as a second baseman. Lilly's 2-1. Base hit left field at 7-2 as McGee knocks in another run. That's swing and a miss. Struck him out on a heater. And that's a base hit for Fontenot's second of the afternoon. And it'll be a double. He has seven hits this weekend. That's good to see. Nicely done, Hall for the McGee. Fukudome with two hits and two runs. Drive to deep center. Cameron will catch it right on the edge of the warning track. Fontenot could have walked home. It's eight to two. Ron plays deep, and he'll have to go cut this ball off after the bounce. Picked up by Hall, throws off the back foot, and Fielder can't scoop it. Derek is safe. And Hall 
can't get it. Deflects off his glove. Hardy able to pick it up on the bare hand. And a good job by Terrio to pay attention to his third base coach. The 2-1 to Fox. Another pop foul territory, but room for Fielder. And the Cubs lead them loaded. Nice piece of hitting by Kendall. That's a fair ball, and it's going to end up being a double. And swing and a miss. Struck him out. Base hit right field. Kendall waited to make sure it got through. This inning gets to Prince Fielder. Possibly a double play ball. They're going to get one relay. You know he's come in. He's really played well. Obviously, everyone knows about him. You know what he can do physically. But you know he's come in. He has a great mind for the game. You know which obviously is important to play that position. And uh, one and two on Soto. Make it one and three. Takes a called third strike. Um, you know I thought it was cool. I thought people who went there it was a unique experience. Broken bat, fly ball, base hit. Along with Reed Johnson and Angel Guzman. As the Braves come in. Golfed into the left. No problem for Sam Fold. He's going to get it. Fold as that ball slices right into his glove. Another guy who does have options, Michael Hawkpower. And that kicks off the glove of Fontenot. And into left. Runners go on a 3-2 pitch and a high fly ball to deep left. Sam Fold on the warning track with just enough room. And the inning is over. Blanco bounces to second base. And Casey McGee. He again backing up. Called strike three. Pulled on the ground and Mike Fontenot scoops and throws out Kendall. Swing and a miss on the slider. Two gone. Swing and a miss. He flailed at his slider. And the Cubs win. The final today, 8-2. to two, As Ted Lilly, the All-Star, gets his eighth win of the year.